because I just want to show you an animation of what the earth looks like now and how it has changed over the years. So, if we look, this is basically from like the Jurassic period to uh, what it is now. That's what it looks like now. Now, looking at 200 million years ago and so on, you can see those together start separating. So I want you to pay attention to what do you see. So just kind of look at it, and we're going to discuss what we see. <coughs> so give me some, what did you see that happened? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, anything else? Just very quick. Okay, spread and twist. All right, any other observations? Yes. What's that? Hawaii? No, Hawaii, it was made through some things. Now, it's just pieces of land that they were there. What about all that other black stuff? Okay, black stuff that is kind of growing, new land. And let me, so let me show you. And I, I so want, that's, I, that's one of the observations what? I want you to make. You see all that black stuff in the ocean? Yeah. Okay, it's showing you new land. Right here, something is splitting, magma is coming up, new land is being made, obviously underwater. Right here, new land is being made. So if new land is being made and new rock is being made, that's actually what's splitting this apart. So all that black stuff is basically new rock being made from the splitting of plates, which we're going to talk about tomorrow, because when those plates split, magma comes up from the bottom, Hardens making new rock. So all that black stuff that you start seeing is new rock basically underwater that's being made. Okay? So is it, is it why they don't fit exactly together? Well, what also or happens over just, years? Weather erosion. And erosion and weather and erosion. So that's so, why they split apart? Yes. Well, no, no. They split it apart well, because of the good. pushing. Yeah. Now they change the landform looks and changes differently because of the weathering and erosion. Um, which brings me to, why is it that none of the other continents fit together, but these two do fit together? Why do those two fit together? Yes. But they do. The rainforest is in South America. Yes. Okay, so what does that mean? Because they're the center point, what does that mean about the separation? Look at them. <laughs> they Very good. They took longer to separate than the other ones. So these two continents separated last. Everything else separated first, so weathering and erosion has occurred, right? Because South America and Africa have separated last, then not enough weather and erosion has occurred to make that big of a change. Yes? What just makes, when it was first all Pangea, what makes it just, what just makes magma come up from under? Plate tectonics. Because what we're going to learn tomorrow is that all, the, the entire world has always been a bunch of plates. Okay? And when it was created, all the plates were in a specific amount which made the land all together. But as those plates moved, it changed the land, land, the land features. Wasn't it like technically a plate? When you think about a plate, it, it's just all together. But when something has to, with like you drop it, that's when it breaks apart. Mm -hmm. But the world was never just one complete plate. It was always separate plates. Even in the early Jurassic times? Yes, it was still, there's plates. That's why it moved, is because those plates were moving. Uh, the effects were already broken apart, right? And I thought that because of the, 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 the idea to put together that all the plates would be in that point. No, and you know, this is how you know that these are in different plates. This is India right here. India, India. That's Eurasia. India is stuck to Eurasia now, right? So that meant that India was actually on a, is on a completely different plate than Eurasia is. Now what happened is, 
this, the plate that India was on is right here. So over time, these plates are moving together. So these plates are obviously converging, moving together, and they continue to move and move and move. So that's how you know, that's how we know that they were still on plates because even now, what we see is we have the Himalaya mountains right there, which are made from convergent boundaries. Questions. So all those, all those the black stuff that was forming under it was pushing it up, and the stuff from the black from the top was pushing it down. Mm. Like the top, the top part, the black stuff was pushing it down, and the the down the towards the equator. Yeah, and the, the yes. India with the black stuff. Yeah, it, it make sure that you just think down towards the equator, not down. Yeah. yeah. That way. <laughs> yes. Um. What about the like California place? What about California? I mean, okay. like. Is it coming towards the, right here? the, the American, North American plate? Yeah. Um, the California plate is actually not separated and come together. It's shifting. And yes, the plate is moving down. One plate is moving down, the other plate is moving up. So the plate that is on the left side is moving down. The plate that the North American plate is actually moving up. Yes? Let's say like a... Well, if it's 300 years ago, it's not that big of a deal. Because what we're going to look at tomorrow, plates only move about 1 to 10 centimeters a year. So basically, 100 years, it only moves a meter. Well, my life this is very, very, very slow. My lifetime was barely moved. Very, very slow. Yes. If they like, if plates crash, is it like a big crash? Like no, because it's slow. So basically, it's like me taking my hands and just pushing and pushing and pushing. I feel the pressure, I feel the pressure, I feel the pressure. But it's not bang, it's very slow. If you it think about my... Yes. Yeah, it's still growing. Does the magma make another company? Or could that be a complete I want to say a continent, but it's not a continent. It's like a continent. I want to say a continent would make a... If it's underwater, it would end up making an island, which we're going to talk about tomorrow. Yeah. So how do the continent come in just like by moving here? Like, how do they start two years? How do they start? How do they get going? It's just what happens. That's not how that's because magma forms. Oh, well, obviously, magma has to form, right? Magma makes rock. Like, I, I, I don't, we don't know. We don't know exactly how that super giant got there. Yes. What about when they're supposed to all like come back? What's the one point? <clears throat> all right, I'll, so I'll there are several. Um, theories of uh, over years what's going to happen. I'll show you a picture of what they think is going to happen in just a second. Um, basically, because what you need to realize is that these plates are moving a specific way, right? But there's also plates on the other side moving differently. So it could be that they separate. Some people say it's going to separate and eventually go all the way around. Some people say it's going to separate and kind of shift and then come back together because of the fact that all the plates are not moving the same direction. Uh, so I'll show you one of uh, the predictions, Well, we would never know. <laughs> and once again, it's something that years. would happen over millions of years because it's so slow. It's probably something that we're not ever going to see. Because once again, in 100 years, it might only move about this much. Yes? Um, yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that the previous prediction is like, that would be the exact same way as it was in the early time. No. So the prediction doesn't say that it's going to become a super giant again. Um, it just says that it's going to look a little different. So it's kind of close to that. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's a pangea? No, it doesn't look anything like a pangea. So like, if we live in pangea, it looks like Europe and everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say an hour, but definitely a lot quicker, yes. Question. 
Because continents move, or is it just all because of magma? So new rock is always being made because of magma. Uh, so new rock is always going to be made when plates are moving away from each other and allowing magma to come up. Um, so when we look at making new land, it's always going to be because magma is coming up. Now, destruction of land can be the, uh, is ends, ends up being the coming of the other. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. Yes? Um, like magma ever, is it coming out as blood or roots? Does it ever like come out like a lot in forms of the Hawaii? Well, no, any, any volcanic island, um, any volcanic mountain range, that's, that's the reason you have them. Yeah. Okay, so, <clears throat> to finish up, you have your notes on page 133, correct? Yes? 131. 131, I'm sorry. 131. So on page 130, this is what you're going to do. you got a piece of paper that looks like this. So you're going to follow the instructions, you're going to, first I want you to color them, so color the land, brown, water, blue, okay? You're going to cut these out, and then you're going to put them in order from Pangea to present day, and you're going to tape in, I know this says page 86, this is my own notebook, okay? You're going to tape them in, do some arrows, they're not going to fit on a straight line, so you're going to kind of have to stagger them, okay? Then, that little purple piece of paper that I gave you, that's going to be taped in like a flip page, just like I did this one, and I want you guys to do these two things. One, explain in a paragraph the changes the earth went through from Pangea today. So I want you to explain what is happening as it goes from here to here to here to here to here, okay? Then number two, why did this occur? Why do you think this happened? Okay? So that's going to go on that. It should be a flip page on that page, which is page one third. So any questions of what you need to do? Yes? What were the questions you answered? On that. Well, yeah, because this is the Alright, any other questions? Alright, get to work. You have 15 minutes left to class. Goodbye.